All right, guys, gonna show you how to remove the uh, dash so that you can replace that speaker. So first of all, I got this uh, tool, but well, you can use a screwdriver. So you're just gonna uh, I can show you guys. Yeah, right here. You know, gonna pry this out like so. It just has like snap things there. You know, you don't gotta take it out all the way. Just up to here is fine. You know, I'm gonna remove these knobs. Okay. And then over here as well, I'm gonna put your pry bar or your screwdriver in there. Just gonna pry it out. Okay. And this one comes out. And just pull back. Pull back, I said. Well, there you go. And it comes out. Okay. And then this one, the one on the top, you know, you just push down a little bit. And also should come out. Yeah. And like pull outward. Gotta. There you go. As always, just using one hand sucks sometimes, okay? You know, once you got that down, or maybe you should have taken these things out first, but that's okay, don't matter. Remove these screws T25, Torx, one, two. Push this back, you know, bring it out. There you go. And then this one also has one screw right here. And then remove it, and then it comes out. And this one came out already. And then you're just gonna remove one, two, three, and four. Four screws. Okay, so we're gonna remove. Lose any of those. Okay. Make sure I get these screws before they go behind the dash and they are gone. I know I, one of them fell already. But here are the screws right here and then this one's the top one but once you got those screws out you should be able to bring the dash out you know bring the dash out and you got these uh clips to remove you know This is how it comes out.
appropriate then to remove the back part of the dash. Like I said, this one is a T, T10. Got to remove these screws. And I had already soldered that one speaker on this one and it didn't work. So I'm thinking the speaker is the one that didn't work. Um, but we will see what happens. You know, see, same one like I showed you guys on that other, um, on that other truck that I had just fixed. But so what I'm gonna do here, um, like I said, I got another one of these speakers. They were only $4. So I'm gonna basically break this one, uh, remove the back part of it, and um, I will show you right now. All right, well, this one didn't come out like the other one. Had difficulties with this one, uh, but still gonna work. It broke, broke it more than I should have. Um, but I am gonna solder the cables here and then solder it to this one there okay so here's the second try the reason why that one came out was because i had just put the uh butt plug in just like that this one i did solder it this was the one that came out but i actually solder it so it should be good now and um, before i put it back again sorry got the hiccups let's try it again Oh, there we go. It's already working. There it is. So let's turn it on, see if the uh, low air warning. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So there we have it. Okay, let's try it again. Left turn signal. And the emergency lights. All right, so it's working, guys. So now I will put this one like I had it back there. Let me put this thing right here. And there goes the wipers. Because, you know, it's uh, wipers. But okay, so it's working. Um, you know sometimes like i say you gotta do what you gotta do in order to um save money because i was reading reviews on google and a lot of people were saying that you know the dealer wants to charge them twelve hundred dollars to replace the whole cluster and nobody wants to pay no twelve hundred dollars for a new cluster you know just if you're gonna need a new speaker no that's just a rip off but you know this is how you remove it and put it back you know you just got screws right here um let me see if i can do this one-handed so this this cluster here actually um doesn't have all the screws because I guess whoever had this truck before didn't and here is the other screw there uh, whoever had it didn't believe in saving all the screws so then you're gonna do the torques and as always I have to be oh my god you know sometimes doing things with one hand that sucks there we go and it's a torque set and i actually bought my set right there from harbor freight tools and this one well you're gonna need a t25 t25 and the smaller one that i had on my bit right now was actually for the back of the screws um of the cluster so there we go there's that one and now 
there's that one and then from here we are gonna put this one that this one just comes out um easy you know there's not much to it just gotta um put it in like that like so and press it up when you remove it um you could use a flat screwdriver i use this thing you know you just pry it down you know just like so and it'll it'll come out okay then i'm gonna put this one back in there and this one that fell off the event okay there it goes like so So at least we know it's still working. And now this panel here, these are all just push it in, you know, and I shouldn't be doing this because I still got that one screw that actually doesn't really matter because it's freaking broken. Uh, you know, people just don't take care of things sometimes. And then here you go and like I said this one doesn't really matter see because it's broken but then you just put your parking knob on there and this one hopefully will hold it there in place oh, there you go put your emergency line on emergency knob and then this one over here just goes here like so and it goes in there and this one in there and there you guys have it okay it's all put back together okay and this is how it looks you know just solder not the perfect soldering job because i'm not a soldering guy and then there's the speaker and uh my stuff now i'm gonna put it but it's okay don't worry about it it'll be okay okay this is the second one you guys see the other one had that plastic on it this one doesn't tried it already And it's working good so hope you guys like these kind of videos as well um, but yes okay guys so I know this video was a little bit backwards but um, I actually um, these are the uh, speakers that should be the replacement 8 ohms 0.5 watts I tried using it it sucked it didn't work I don't know probably I did it wrong or whatever but I ordered two they didn't work and um, what I actually did was like I said you know I I put this speaker now and solder it I'm just gonna put it here on the side on here you know and um, it should be good there. I'm just trying to put it there better. Um, I mean, now you guys get the point, you know, just put it however you think it's gonna be there. But okay, it's back there. And I actually bought those at the Family Dollar. I know it was gonna be cheaper than buying something at AutoZone and it's actually this speaker. So I just took that out. I have another one. So here is how I took it out. I broke it, uh, but it's gonna be way better. So now we're just gonna, uh, like they say, you know, plug and play. So I'm gonna put this blue one back in the blue and both of these other ones here 
just so that we can test it. Okay, so we're just gonna... In there. Hmm. I wonder why it's not working. Oh, I wonder why it's not working. Cause the thing came out. Oh boy. Okay, to remove the back part of the dash, you gotta remove all these bolts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna remove it from the back and I just soldered these two right here right there 